Hi everybody. Uh, today we continue with the uh, insert and query database in uh, RIM database in React Native. Uh, so this will work as in this example. We will uh, uh, insert and we can query to see uh, the list. Uh, query mean find and insert mean add more uh, record to the database. So now I uh, continue with the previous uh, lesson and. Uh, I will uh, continue to build the user interface and uh, add function to uh, the interface. So in the previous lesson, we have the to-do list component and I style this uh, through the style sheet object and uh, the style here uh, has some of the property to container. Container uh, is a main view. So the flag direction is column. It means that uh, the element or component has been added by the uh, column. And uh, the flat list here, uh, flat list uh, uh, has uh, flex is one. It means that it will extend to the remainder. So add this to uh, style in the view. And we also have a header. So this header is a separate component and will be added to each of the uh, components and here is the flat list so the flat list uh, will get uh, the list from the to-do list uh, array and uh, this will be an, uh, a state uh, so when the state has been changed the flat list will be reload so we have a constructor and inside the constructor I uh, uh, initialize the to-do list uh, as a blank array uh, when the to-do list component uh, are created. So this is a reload function. The reload function will be uh, query all the to-do list and then uh, if uh, it is successful it will uh, return to the to-do list uh, array and if uh, it catch the error the to-do list will be reset to blank. So uh, it is very easy to work in this case. So uh, I only set the state to this to-do list. So the state here is to-do list and to-do list. Yes. So for easier to understand uh, because the key and the value has the same name. So we also use it only one to-do list. Yes, so the key and the value only here to do list. Uh, in the case uh, it has an error, the to do list will be set to a blank array. So uh, this is this blank array will allow the flat list will be uh, blank. And what about this? Uh, inside the flat list, we have the property uh, render item. Uh, this prop will determine uh, the item or allow you to custom the uh, the uh, render item for each of the flat list. So where is this flat list item? So I will define this and I assign uh, all of the item property to this and I assign the uh, index. So the index here may be uh, 0, 1, 2 and I assign it to the props index item or item index then the item in index uh, I will use to uh, set the color for the item and the on spread item is a function uh, this function is called when you are uh, touched to the on spread item uh, on the item so uh, in the item I have to add a button uh, outside, uh, for example, I can use uh, touchable opacity, so etc. And the key attractor um, to to determine that uh, which is the key for this or ID is key. And the pop up uh, dialog uh, here, uh, it, it will be uh, hidden and added to the to below. And when uh, when console, when we co we show, we can call the show function to display this. So what about uh, the item? So I define the flat list item. 
you can define it as a uh, react a native component or a, a function an arrow function with the input parameter is a props so inside this prop we can set uh, many property to this but no state a uh, swipe out so the swipe out we have two button uh, edit button and delete button and when I, I uh, call the, the press on press uh, it will call the accordingly function uh, the function to show edit model as a function to uh, confirm delete so uh, uh, we can uh, define the function for show edit model here I, it is also a, uh, a neural function and uh, I can uh, yeah, guess this here uh, this property will be set uh, from uh, uh, from the, mm, the the to do list component so we also have ID name creation date uh, all of the property of the uh, to do list uh, to do list schema so pop-up dialog component is a pop-up that will be so when you insert uh, the new value and uh, the on item on press item uh, is a function called when you uh, press uh, to the item okay so uh, let define the so delete uh, confirmation uh, this function is called when you press to delete and uh, a user must be confirmed by asking uh, do you want you want to delete this and uh, if you uh, uh, answer yes it will delete if you answer no nothing to do so if you press yes uh, you will confirm that you want to delete and the pop-up dialog has a reference so the reference y y is used as uh, uh, a, a pointer or a variable point to this component and uh, I assign this a as a property uh, of the flat list item so the pop-up dialog component uh, is a props of the uh, flat list item so I can show this by calling uh, from a pop-up dialog component here uh, so uh, it is uh, very convenient if you want to uh, call, uh, um, the call a pop-up uh, dialog function inside the uh, to-do list component but you want to uh, to call this in the flat list item so add new uh, javascript we define the show pop-up component here so uh, this pop-up dialog component uh, it's quite easy you can uh, define this with uh, a text input and uh, a button ok uh, button uh, save and uh, uh, cancel button so we import the slide uh, animation di dialog title of this library react native pop-up dialog uh, there are many uh, dialog uh, pop-up uh, library you can see in uh, GS course and here I use this so you can set the dialog title uh, to this uh, dialog uh, pop-up dialog and the width and the high width and high is uh, uh, proportional with the width and high um, of the, the of your device and uh, i will set the high is 100 percent and the width is uh, 70 uh, piece uh, 70 percent of the uh, device width so uh, the container here is a style sheet for this container is outer and the text input here uh, is a uh, input uh, for uh, user to uh, insert the new uh, name the new name of to-do list and the button here is we have uh, two buttons save and cancel and the text label is the text label inside the button So on change tag and uh, set uh, uh, text to name allow you to save 
uh, own you type own uh, value you type uh, inside the state name so when you type this it will bind to uh, this prop uh, or this state this name state and this button uh, touchable opacity uh, we have the text here uh, save uh, so uh, you can add a touchable opacity outside a text then it is very easy to you to set color to the custom uh, style for this uh, button uh, so uh, well firstly we check that if the name is blank uh, then you press ok so uh, an alert will show and tell you that uh, please enter to do list name yes so you have to add uh, a to-do list name with uh, a not noon string or not blank string so the pop-up dialog is a reference parameter so uh, to this so you can use this dot rep uh, reps dot pop-up dialog to point to this component and dismiss this when the dismiss process is finished you can uh, check uh, the state uh, that uh, whether it is uh, add or update because this pop-up will uh, allow you to update and to uh, add so you have to choose is add new uh, is yes or is true so it will uh, create a new object of new to-do list and cause the function to insert this into the database So the creation date here is uh, current time, and the ID the the, the ID is also a a, a timestamp get from the the current time in a millisecond. You can get the date dot now uh, divided by one thousand to get the millisecond. So calling uh, insert uh, insert new to do list with the input parameter of a new object to do list. Uh, and then then it means okay do nothing and if a uh, cache it will show uh, the alert that uh, alert new to do list error and detail error is here so you use it as a string template so this function will allow you to uh, show the dialog when you want to add so firstly you need to show the pop-up dialogs uh, firstly and then you are uh, uh, fins the data to uh, the uh, text input and if it is uh, add uh, it will fin a blank string to this yes uh, but the uh, dialog title is add a new to do list and the name is blank and the is add new true because uh, it is uh, uh, an um, insert process so uh, updating it will be false is add new is for mean updating uh, so this uh, touchable opacity we also have a cancel button uh, this cancel button do nothing when you press to this it do nothing and uh, it has a style uh, the, the same style as the save button so we use a style dot text uh, label I uh, defined below. Uh, so it uh, simply uh, dismiss a pop-up dialog and uh, console log to the controller uh, of the debugger that call consent and uh, dismiss pop-up. Uh, so remember that the pop-up dialog here is a reference variable to uh, this component. So, uh, what about the header component? Uh, how I can uh, implement this component? So, I create a new file and name it header component.js. And uh, I define uh, this is a header of own screen. So, all screen can uh, use this. So, uh, uh, I can define it in a separated javascript file so the header component is an arrow function uh, as uh, a react native component 
So we have container, we have a flush duration, justify content to, uh, to flush n. It means you could add uh, a component to the right. So uh, the background color and the high, okay? Uh, this way to define a header component we not uh, have a state but it is uh, quite uh, simple to see so we have many properties that we get from uh, the header component and uh, there are some properties of title uh, some as function and some as boolean for example has add button uh, has true or false has sort button has true or false but uh, i will tell you uh, continuously later about this uh, please do not worry about this so firstly we have has add button uh, this has button uh, has add button props uh, returns the value true or false if it is true, the uh, touchable opacity will show, and vice versa. When the has add button uh, is full, the touchable opacity will be disappear. Yes. So we, it will show the touchable opacity if a has add button return to f true. Yes. Uh, so it is a right way to uh, high or, or to. Uh, to to show a component yes I have just uh, download this icon to for you you can download in now uh, many website for example icon com so you can copy this into a separate photo and paste to here and uh, you can also set the uh, title color the teen color for uh, the the icon so press uh, press to this we have some uh, I can use it in uh, my application so we also have add button uh, the add button has a Z index Z index 2 it mean is uh, is upper it is upper uh, with uh, the background uh, so this is the title text the title text uh, it's at the center of the component so you uh, can uh, set its uh, top uh, left right bottom uh, align to zero and align item to center so it is below and the add the add button is upper depending on the z index so uh, in the to do list component you import the uh, the header component and the uh, pop-up dialog component for use this and now uh, we have to here uh, then you can set the props for this title is a uh, title is string so you can set title for this you can uh, also set uh, has button to this or uh, to true true mean mean so and false mean not so or hidden is this something like um, then you uh, work in web yes it is uh, uh, quite similar and so at to do list is a function the arrow function will uh, call the function so dialog component for add uh, of this it will call the function uh, so dialog component for add uh, yes then where is this function where is this function uh, this function will uh, display the dialog and allow you to add uh, information to this so uh, what about the, uh, these two button we can use add these two button inside a view you are uh, cut and paste to this paste to this yes so two button here is uh, added inside a view so we have the two button now uh, ha has the same high and uh, uh, it okay it says the same uh, y axis uh, so the reload data the reload data uh, when can be used uh, this is called when the uh, firstly constructor and secondly when the database changes so it is very important 
uh, because when the database changes the rim database changes the rim object changes what does it mean uh, when the database change when uh, uh, deleting inserting etc uh, so it will be called this function yes this function could be called uh, so it is very convenient because uh, uh, it is something like a global object has been changed and any component relating to this has been reload or refresh so uh, what about this button uh, this button is called and uh, point to this function on press item yes do remember this i add this here so when you call uh, when you press to this button it uh, will call the function on press item yes so the on press item is uh, uh, performed in uh, another component in uh, to-do list component so uh, inside this item i can uh, set the color for easier to see so uh, zero has one color and uh, one has another color so zero has another color etc you see, use this by dividing to two the index item to two and depending on this oven or art we have the separated color and uh, the first text test here is a name or the to-do list name the to-do list name is both yes so the second text here is the creation date so the creation date is a string so you can convert it use to local string so it will convert to your uh, local string uh, as your location or your country okay uh, delete the previous code uh, the new previous application and rerun again so running we see that after you press a name a1 for example and press save yes okay a new uh, record has been added to the flat list yes second then you can to uh, for example go to school and save okay so uh, it is very fast it will uh, automatically added to uh, this uh, when the database has been changed and the flat list is reload uh, using the uh, change the listener yes you can test uh, many more here okay okay uh, this is end of my lesson today about uh, uh, insert uh, data to database and uh, queries the data and so in the flat list uh, thank you for watching this uh, lesson. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos or download code in GitHub here. Bye-bye.